Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss about order flow COT. COT is nothing but the commitment of traders. It tells about uh, where the maximum amount of uh, traders have been committed. So by understanding the COT, we try to trade we try to trade according to these the, these committed traders. So there is a different uh, uh, report that is published by CFTC Commodities Futures Trading Commission in US by US government, which discusses about uh, where the majority of the traders uh, are committed uh, in uh, futures market. So let's say for example gold and all. This is order flow CVT. It's the same thing for going into the subject. You can join my mentorship program in market profile and order flow. These are a little bit deeper subjects uh, which requires a, a structured understanding with the guidance and all. Not that uh, the moment you understand some concept and from the next day you will uh, start earning money and all. So it requires a lot of uh, efforts and guidance. So if you are interested, you can join the mentorship program, a complete uh, one year advanced program to become a successful intraday trader. So these are all the topics which are covered in both market profile and the order. What is auction process in market, uh, strong weak auction, so types of days, understanding first 30 minutes, one hour. So such kind of things. So whereas in order flow, these are all, uh, how do you understand momentum is done on uh, order flow? Trend continuation, this credit trend reversal, how do you identify this? How unfinished auction uh, happens, finished auction, how it will be? At least so these are all uh, you you will be going through based on uh, the orders that are that are that are coming into the market. You can really think about this. So now going into the subject, what is COT? So COT is nothing but the commitment of traders. So it is the area at which maximum traders are committed. So let's say for example, if I am buying so let's say if I am buying at 100 rupees, some anything, any product, uh, and along with me, there are many number of traders who are buying at the same price, 100 rupees. So why we are buying at 100 rupees? We want to make profit. As a trader, we want to make profit. So when I am buying at 100 rupees, I want to sell it a rupee higher at least, right? Let's say 101, 102, 103. So if the maximum amount of traders are committed at 100 rupees, it means that the prices are supposed to, not necessarily, but supposed to go to the much higher prices. So that is what it means commitment of trade. Now we have another different uh, uh, caught high and caught low. So this is also a commitment uh, of traders. So in this session, we are not going to discuss caught high and caught low since this is a totally a different subject. Uh, actually, here what happens is in this caught high and caught low is, so this is the area where the maximum traders are committed as the price is making highs and lows or new highs and new lows. So this is a little different subject. And COT, a normal COT is a little bit different subject. So this caught high and caught low, I'll be discussing in the very next video, uh, which I'll be posting in the next coming days, so that you will get a better understanding the difference between COT, normal COT and caught high and caught low. So for now, we will be discussing what is COT and what how to understand this COT in terms of intraday. As you see, as I have said, in the previous side, what is COT is nothing but this. Look at this. So what has happened here? So there is a whole candle and you have aggressive buying on the right side, aggressive selling on the left side and you also have and you also have much, many delta imbalances and all, but uh, let's not go into this uh, delta imbalances for now. Uh, I think you can refer to my previous videos where I have posted a detailed uh, uh, discussion about these imbalances. So here what happened, if you calculate horizontally 662 and 501, 603 and 863, 432, 564. So horizontally each and uh, line each and every line separately this is the where this is the area where maximum amount of traders have been committed so 603 and 863 is the area 
And this we call it as BOT, commitment of error. Now different different softwares they call it they call it by the uh, different different names, but the idea remains the same. In Go charting they call it as a BOC, or in some other uh, thing they might call it uh, as their own proprietary uh, proprietary name and all. So let's not confuse with all those names, with the, but the idea remains the same. Where the maximum amount of traders have been committed. Now again, this value itself changes as you change the order flow setting. So you need to understand the standard value, which standard value is working. And since the bank is at 43,000, something like that, it's better to go with higher value or in order flow settings. Let's say 10 for each and every 10 points or 5 points, 20 points, uh, you will get this kind of uh, tick data. I mean, when I say when uh, each tick means uh, for each and every 10 points, you will get uh, uh, this data, right? Now, this COT, what is it uh, telling us here? Now, let's understand first uh, what is this candle. Here, the opening is the prices went down, the prices went up, and it closed here. Now, if you understand the COT is here, maximum amount of traders have committed here. So, what does it tell you? The prices might next, it might go further high. Now, here if you look at the COT has raised, right? So again, the raise itself is not very high, right? So this tells us the prices might for, go to further highs. Right? Here also, the COT here, whatever is there here, it has raised a lot. So this tells us the people are ready to buy. Previously they were buying at lower levels, but now they have, they moved up a little. So this tells us more number of traders are committed at higher levels, so the prices might go further highs. This is one, one, thing, uh, one way of understanding. So it's not that easy. Now we understand the COT in relative to candle close. There are two ways. That is one way and relative to previous COT. So what I have told you is relative to previous COT and COT relative to candle close. So what does it mean? Look at this. So this is where the COT is. 1.3, 1.2. Right? So if you add up, this is the highest value in that candle. And look at where the prices have closed, just below that. And what happened next? The prices went down. So what is happening here with this COT? This is acting as a very good resistance because this is where the maximum amount of uh, traders have been committed. So if the prices has to go above this, go above this, these people has to be overcome. The buying has to be more than the people who committed, who are committed. So this is the idea. Right? So if the prices are closing above the COT, then the prices might go up. If the prices are closing below the COT like, happened, like it happened here, it means that the PLR, the path of least resistance is downward. Now, how do we understand uh, relative to the previous COT? Look at it. This is the previous COT. Here we have, we do have this COT. So the POC itself is lower than the previous POC, which means the people are not ready to buy at higher levels because they perceive the value whatever is there right is lesser than the previous this now next candle now here also the prices have closed above the COT that's the reason why it made a little spike got it now in the next candle the prices went up exactly up to the COT so it might have gone up to a little bit higher also because we also have a uh, another form of volume cluster here. Right? It might have gone and it might have turned up, but it acts as a good support. 
support or resistance. In this case, resistance. So the prices went up because the prices closed here above the CBOT and immediately turned. And look at the POC again. This POC is higher than this, but it is still below the POC of where the maximum traders committed in the first time period. This is 30 minutes. So it is still a low. Now, if the prices should have gone up like this, what should have happened? The POC should have raised somewhere here. It should have raised up to this point and and the candle should have closed above this. That tells us the people now who are bearish previously, who are bearish previously, now they are buying at trading, I mean, not buying and selling, we can say, they are exchanging trades at higher levels than the previous EOT levels, committed levels. So there is a fair chance the prices might go further, but that has not happened here, right? And look at how the candle has closed here. It's also a very important. Right? Now we are looking at tandem, how the price is closing along with the COT uh, in uh, relation with COT and also how the COT is raising as the price is forming. So the COT is lesser than the first uh, 30 minutes, indicating that still it is lower, the value itself is lower and we have a close below that. So this acted as a very good uh, resistance here and the prices started falling. This COT itself have started falling down, right, look at it. Now, somewhere here, the prices closed above this and it raised, right. Now immediately, the prices again still started going down. So this V gap itself acts as a very good uh, resistance, right? You should uh, understand this. Now, always continuously focus, focus on details. So this focusing on details, it tells you a lot of things, lot of things in trade. So on five minutes, again, if you use this uh, COD and all on five minutes, there will be a lot of noise. If you go on to higher time frames, let's say 15 minutes or 30 minutes, you will get a much better clarity than you are getting on five minutes. So on five minutes, you have to look at the bigger context. Let's say whether it is making higher highs or higher lows, where the total volumes are committed, not only just five minute COT, you have to look at the major uh, COT level. Right here, it went, this is a very good one. If you ask me, this is a very good one. The COT has, uh, the price has closed above the COT, but what happened here because of this V gap, immediately the price has returned down. Now, also we have one more thing here. It's not just the COT and the prices related uh, relative to previous COT or something. We also have we also have COT versus volume plus. So what is it? so? There is not much of difference in COT and volume cluster. So COT is the area where the maximum volume is present, whereas volume cluster, it's the surrounding overall area. So let's say this is candle. This is where the maximum amount of uh, traders have been committed in that candle. And around that itself, most of the time, most of the time, if not uh, every time, so most of the time, the volumes more or less, little lesser than the COT will be around that, indicating the traders have exchanged trades at that level. So look at this. So there is a COT, majority of the volumes, the greater amount of volumes are on the downside compared to the top. So what is it telling you? These trades are adding a weight on the downside. So here there is not much of buying. Now in the later candle, yes, there might have, it might occur sometimes where the buyers step in late and they might push the prices further. But in this candle, there is not much of 
there is not much of volume clusters at the top. There is there are good volume clusters along with the COT on the lower side, indicating the weight is on the lower side. So the probability of the prices going down increases. So I am speaking about when I say volume cluster, it's both sides, both aggressive and passive. Now, this is the ideal. This is how an ideal scenario has to be. Right. Now, markets are never ideal. You will have all types of scenarios. Look at this non-ideal scenario. You have volume clusters here. You also have volume clusters. What does it is telling you? The traders are present all the way. Right. So COT is here. The prices are closed above this. The majority of the volume clusters are not at the down. There, the volume investors are also present at the top. top. So this indicates that maybe the selling pressure is not that strong. So next step, next what happened? We have uh, those EOT again. Again, the sellers try to put the prices down. Uh, absorption is there. So again, the prices went up. So this is again a very good ideal candle. So Look at this. Good volumes on the downside, but the only negative is the prices closed above the COT, indicating the prices might further. So let's say if the COT would have been somewhere here and the price closes below this and more amount of volumes on the downside, it would have increased the reliability. Or on other cases, if the COT would have been here and the volume clusters here, here, and the prices would have closed down, then it would have increased the reliability. Or many scenarios we can form. The prices would have closed here uh, at the lows, and you have a COT just above this, and less volumes here. It, instead of closing here, it would, it would have closed here. Then still the prices would have immediately gone down. That's a very good uh, scenario. But since the prices have closed above the COT, what happened here? There was a little of good pullback. Right? Now, here again, the prices closed below this. There are volume clusters. So the prices started going down. This is about COT, guys. And thank you. You can join my Telegram group. Delta trends. You can search for this Delta trends in uh, Telegram. I'll be updating about Bank Nifty and Nifty daily based on order flow and market profile. So you you will get a much better idea by following the views and all. So how I am analyzing and all. So have a nice day.